The Kardashian family's first moments in the spotlight were when the patriarch of the family, Robert Kardashian Sr., was in the public eye as O.G. Simpson's lawyer. Kim Kardashian's first solo appearance in the world of entertainment, though, came with her stint as singer and actress Brandi Norwood's stylist in 2004. If you don't want to miss new content related to luxury, subscribe to our channel. Her skills as a stylist landed her a spot on TV's The Simple Life. She appeared on the show, which starred Paris Hilton and Nickel Richie. From 2003 to 2006, Kardashian told Variety that her career as a businesswoman actually dates back to before she appeared on TV. She told Variety it started in high school when she was working at a boutique and in her dad's office. Kardashian said she discovered eBay while she was working at Robert Sr.'s office and loved shopping. She said she developed a love of shopping while working in her father's office. Kardashian said Robert Sr. told her she could buy five pairs of Manolo Blahnik shoes as long as she paid him back plus interest. The shoes were $700 heels in a style worn by Jennifer Lopes in one of her early music videos. Everyone had to have them, Kardashian told Variety. She said that she saw the opportunity to make money and capitalized on it. Kardashian said she called up a store, bought five pairs of the Manolos for $700 each, and resold them on eBay for $2,500. She said she became so obsessed with the return that she began to sell off her own clothes that she no longer wore. Kardashian eventually channeled her love for reselling to help build a retail business model. In 2006, Kim Kardashian and her sisters, Courtney and Khloe, opened their first dash store in their hometown of Calabasas, California. The concept behind the store, a sort of consignment shop, was pretty similar to Kim's love for reselling. In the following decade, the sisters opened more locations, including one in Miami and one in the Soho neighborhood of New York City. Kim Kardashian announced they'd be shutting Dash doors in April 2018 as the sisters continue to work on their own brands and families. Kardashian said her original idea for the reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, was to bring attention to the Dash brand. I was thinking, this might not last very long, but will grow a great business and expand online, she told Variety. I thought it would be great press. I didn't think it would turn into what it turned into. It turned into a larger phenomenon than Kardashian imagined it would. In 2018, Complex ranked, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, one of the best reality TV shows of all time, behind only MTV's The Real World. It was so successful that several spin-offs happened down the line. The opening of Dash Miami in 2009 brought about a new reality spin-off, Courtney and Kim Take Miami. The Miami-based series lasted for three seasons. Khloe Kardashian headlined season two, although Kim Kardashian did appear in the season. Shortly before the first episode of the family's original reality show aired in October 2007, Kim Kardashian became the center of a scandal that some say catapulted her career. In February 2007, a sex tape with Kardashian and Ray J, Brandi Norwood's brother, whom Kardashian dated from 2003 to 2006, surfaced and made its way into the news. Kardashian sued the entertainment company distributing the tape at the time. She reportedly settled the case for $5 million. While the tape wasn't technically part of her career path, she did tell Oprah she's not naive to the fact that it helped launch her into fame. At the end of 2007, Kardashian posed for Playboy, and the shoot was captured on the first season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. In 2009, Kardashian released a three-DVD workout plan called Fit In Your Jeans by Friday. In a promotional video, she called it so high fashion and so stylized, it's very me. Most of the outfits have an 80s, futuristic look, as described by Kardashian herself. If you are liking this video, give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. She said she developed it because people were continually asking her how she kept her curves in shape. She said that while working with a few trainers, she found a routine that worked for her and built the videos around the method. The DVDs are split up by physical focus. There's Ultimate Butt Body Sculpt, Amazing Abs Body Sculpt, and Butt Blasting Cardio Step. 
which she says was inspired by her love for doing workout videos with her sisters in their teenage years. In April 2010, Kardashian Glamour Tan was released onto the beauty market. It's a self-tanning gel created by the three sisters and was, at the time, exclusive to Sephora and cost $34. In 2019, there was a two going for $79 on Amazon. Six months later, Kim Kardashian made her debut in the perfume world with her eponymous scent. In 2011, reality TV viewers got to watch what happened as Kourtney and Kim Kardashian opened their third DS retail store in Manhattan's Soho neighborhood. At the time, Kim Kardashian was newly married to NBA player Chris Humphreys. The pair lived in a suite at the Gansevoort Hotel with Kourtney Kardashian, her then-boyfriend Scott Disick, and their son Mason Disick. Their wedding was broadcast into the homes of people all over the U.S. as Kim's fairy tale wedding, a Kardashian event. The event reportedly brought in $18 million in licensing fees, endorsement deals, and broadcast deals for Kardashian. But 72 days later, they were divorced. In 2011, Kardashian debuted a music video at the TL nightclub New Year's party for her song Jam, Turn It Up. Also in 2011, the sisters released a clothing line with retailer Sears, aptly dubbed Kardashian Collection. In 2013, the brand was said to be flopping big time. But of course, that wasn't the only thing Kardashian had going on at the time. In the summer of 2012, Kardashian launched her fourth fragrance, True Reflection. In November 2012, Kardashian and her sisters launched Chroma Beauty, a full range of cosmetics products. The line didn't last, and a former employee of the family said the real problem was likely the lack of involvement. In 2014, Kardashian released her iPhone and Android game, Kim Kardashian, Hollywood. In 2015, Kardashian published a book titled Selfish. The launch of Kimojis for iOS in December 2015 was huge for Apple's App Store. On the day of the launch, Apple's App Store crashed. In May of that year, Kardashian tweeted about her new children's clothing line with Kanye West called The Kid Supply. Also in 2015, Kardashian made $500,000 for one sponsored Instagram post about a morning sickness bill. Kardashian got back into the beauty business with KKW Beauty in 2017. She went on to produce more products for the line, including a fragrance that made $10 million in one day. In January 2020, she announced that the line would be sold at Nordstrom beginning in February. For the past few years, Kardashian has also been speaking at and headlining conferences. Kardashian had a hand in a wide variety of businesses and continues to build out her brands, both personal and professional. Forbes cites KKW Beauty and Skims, as well as cash from reality television and endorsement deals, and a number of smaller investments as sources of her wealth. The reporting estimated that her majority share of scams was worth a conservative $225 million as of 2020, a number Forbes used to bump her net worth up to $1 billion from $780 in October 2020. Forbes now estimates Kardashian's net worth to be $1.8 billion. I want to tell you that the rich are people like you and me, and the only difference is that they decided to on. If you want to learn how to earn money online to improve your life and that of your family, click on the link that I leave you in the description of the video and in the comments. That wraps up the video. If you liked it be sure to subscribe.